Hi, my name is Ish Malamte. In recent times, there's been a lot of videos on YouTube showcasing building projects. And I must admit that almost majority of these um, videos or projects focuses on bigger, you know, projects and leaving out those who might be interested in smaller projects such as what I'm currently in front of. So today's video is purposely to take you through uh, some of the processes that has been involved in putting up this building. So this is a minimal one bedroom self-contained um, building which uh, hasn't taken so much time to get to its current state so i'll give you a quick tour inside what's inside and then i'll also try as much as possible to give you a breakdown of some of the costs that has been involved in uh, putting up this particular uh, project so without not talking further let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside so starting from the very front part this is the porch section of the um, building so this the size of this is um i think about eight feet of uh, 10 feet by six or yeah six feet 10 feet by six feet and then from there you come to the hall section so this is not your normal um, hall you would have um, seen so this is like a minimal or a minimalistic hall size so the size from here to here here is um i think about 10 feet square and then the corner part is uh, six feet square so adding up to this is makes it from this side all the way to that side makes it 16 feet and then six feet there six feet here and then from here to here also becomes um 10 feet now that section is going to be more or less like a, a dining area um if the idea for it doesn't change so that's what is going to happen over here and then this section is going to contain the um, tv set so that there's going to be some seats over here so you get to even see a 3d version of this whole project which was designed by rexford or kofi Sal. i'll put a link in the description to his channel so in case you want any 3d designs done for your projects any project at all you can hit him up and of course whenever you reach out to him make sure that you tell him that i actually brought you to him so this is the whole section as well as the dining area and then to my right over here as the kitchen so the size of the kitchen is um, 10 feet by 6 feet not so much of a big kitchen but the size is okay which can contain of it a couple of things in here so from the kitchen when you continue further here streets or ahead leads you to the washroom we'll take a look at that shortly and then when you take your left hand this brings you to the room so the room as a normal or a standard room size which is i think um, this is 12 by 12 feet so 12 feet square and you have some of the um pipe works down for the electrical um part so you that part is going to contain a tv there are some sockets sockets there the switch for light as well as fan is going to be there and uh, i think this session is going to contain a wardrobe the bed is going to be somewhere here now let's continue back to this part so this is a small corridor that leads you to the washroom or bathroom so when you come in here you have um, the bathroom itself to this point now this point is going to be for the toilet and then the sink so this wall was built purposely to be able to prevent water from splashing you know coming to this particular session so this is the bathroom area uh, which is a decent size so now the size for this entire area is five feet by nine feet so that is the total size for this area so that's the bathroom this is the toilet as well as there's going to be a sink over here and then you have a small corridor and then to your left kitchen hall dining um, bedroom and then to outside now if you take a very good look at the windows you notice that this is like the olden type of window that uses louver blade so um, as part of the budget for this project which is not so huge i'm trying to be um very very um considerate in terms of the budget so you're looking at options which is not going to be so um, um, expensive to go with so that's how come we are using this we are using louver blades for um, the windows throughout the entire house so this size is four feet this is also four feet however that of the bedroom is um, five feet so that's like a standard um, window size so that's five feet that is also five feet and for the washroom that is two feet on the other side i don't know if you saw that so this side also has one which is also um, two feet and then when you come to that of the 
kitchen that is also four feet however the side the height is three feet so um, basically that is a quick tour of um, this building uh, we started this building sometime in december currently i think it's been like about four months um, it has taken some time because we haven't been working on it continuously the focus is a, a very big project which is down there that we are currently working on which another so this was uh, whilst they are not doing that they can spend some time doing this so that they don't you know the workers don't get idle here so basically this is a quick tour of this project um currently what has been done is the foundation so they've gone through the foundation we've gone through the blocking up we've done the lentil part um, the concrete on top of the lentil we fixed the uh, frames for the door um, as well as the windows and then also we've done the roofing. I must admit that at this very point, the most expensive part of this whole project is the roofing. Now, I'll try as much as possible to talk more about the roofing in a different pro um, a, a different video, so you get to see a breakdown of what uh, went into the uh, roofing. And aside that, we've also done the pipe works for the electrical work. So, let me show you how we went about that. So, just as I showed you earlier. We have um, the TV is going to be here. So we have a socket there. We have uh, another um, section for an antenna. And then there's also a socket down. There's a socket here, socket here, socket here, and socket here. Now, one important thing I forgot to tell you about is we're also looking at staying off grid in terms of electricity for this project. So we are looking at using solar. So we, we are still looking at what option is going to be best for this um, small house and the Kind of things that are going to be used inside so i'll try as much as possible to brief you on that once we figure out um, a final solution so there's going to be an air condition somewhere here so that's for this um, the switch for the air condition that is a pipe that is um, allocated or done for the solar system and then from there you have um, two um, six um, this two uh, conduit box are for light light system so some are going to control the outside some are going to control the lights which are going to be in the hall here and then also we have um some going to be for i think two are for the fans and one is for the lighting system and when you come here this is where we have the main so this is going to contain the whole electrical part or the main switch is going to be here this is going to be sort of um, a changeover for the solar system now, when you come into the kitchen here, we have a total of three sockets. So we have one there, we have one here, and then there's one here. Now, this is going to be where there's going to be like the worktop. So the sink is going to be here, the cooker is going to be somewhere here. So you definitely need a socket here to be able to um, do some you know, blending and the rest. And then the fridge is going to be somewhere area, um, in this area. Now, I'm looking at, if possible, uh, fitting uh, a dining small dining table in the kitchen and then this particular corner becomes part of the hall or used as an office i haven't really figured out what the final outcome is going to be yet but these are things that i'm still considering so we have three sockets for the kitchen and then we have one switch uh, as well as one for the front and then in the hall we have a total of one two three four five six we have a total of six sockets here and then when you come to the bedroom we have a total of i think three sockets that should be four instead one two three four yeah so that's four sockets and then we have one uh switch here as well as there's a switch there as well as um, that for a fan and then when you come out from there for the corridor we have one here now this is going to control some of the lights outside as well as some of the lights are also going to be turned on from here so this controls the light that goes into the washroom and that controls that is going to be a socket so in case you want to shave you want to you know use this um heater or whatever it is you're able to do that uh from there so basically this is a quick tour of um this very minimalistic uh, building it's not so much of a big building um, i'm not going to talk more about what we spent so far in this video that's going to be in a different video where i'll give you a total breakdown of what has gone into building this but this is basically to show you uh what we've done so far so we've also done the the ceiling joints so the ceiling also we are looking at 
couple of options. We're looking at whether you're using plywood, whether you're using plasterboard, or using um, TNG. So we haven't still decided yet what we are going to use. Now, what is left to be done next is plastering because we've done the pipe work. So once the plastering is done, the electrician comes back to do his electrical or his wiring. And then after that, we do the, the ceiling. And then also after that, we do the tiles on the ground. And I think basically that will be just about it. And then we'll go ahead to fix the lights, the sockets, and so on. Now for the main door, we are going to be thinking of using um, a security door. So that is here to come. So once it's in, we are going to have it fixed. So you notice that because this is a very small building, there's just one entry and exit, unlike bigger buildings where you need um, other you know, um, exit way as well as yeah, entry point. So uh, this is just one. And when you come to the porch, there's also a socket. There's also a socket here in the uh, porch. And yeah, so this is like a good size porch where you can sit, relax, and you know, just take a look at some nice or amazing views over there. An interesting thing about this place is that the sun settles somewhere around behind the hills over there. And I must admit that it looks very beautiful. I once took a picture of that. I think if I find it, I'll put it on the screen so you get to um, see it. So basically, that is it over here. If you want to see the outside, I have shots of the outside as well. So the roofing is done. The ceiling joint for the outside as well is done. Yeah, so you can see that. Uh, what is left to be done for the roofing is connecting of pipes so that um, they are directed to a central point so that once it rains we are able to collect some um, rain water so that is just about um, it for this particular video in subsequent videos i'll talk about the processes the number of um, materials we've used and and so on so thank you very much for watching in case you are new to this channel kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it once again my name is Ishmael Lamte. i'll see you in the next one